Is oh, it is. Okay. Hey, Anna. Happy Monday. It is currently eleven, not eleven, one fourteen p.m. And my friend is supposed to come over in fifteen minutes, and I'm not ready. I have my makeup done. I don't have my hair done, but that's okay because I just remember I had to make this video. <sighs> summer, summer is a thing. Summer has just occurred, and I um, I don't know. I'm, like, already off on my days. Like, I forgot. I was like, oh my god, it's Monday. So this will probably be the only thing that will keep me keeping track of what's happening. So something that is happening was finals. And I don't, I don't remember how much I went into detail. I don't really care anymore. I'm done with finals. Except, except I can show you something, I think. Wait. Can I? I'm wearing a Jello War shirt. Just, just ignore it. This was my final for graphic design. I might have told you about it, but it turned out kind of cute, I guess. Um, for the most part, finals went really, really well. To my knowledge, I have all A's, except for one class, which is chemistry, where I have all fours, but one three. And that would have made it so I had an A, but the only thing was that my retention score was 82 and you need 85 to get an A. So I'm just really hoping it's close enough that she'll be like, she was good the whole entire semester, whole entire year, I'll just give her this A. Cause then I, oh, I dropped the thing. Cause I just really want straight A's, that would just be nice. Um, I dropped this, but my geometry grade, when I checked it, a week ago was a B and I freaked out because I had all fours and threes and I got a four on the final, but the project right before the final I had gotten a two on, so that brought me to 88% because I got a two and that's pretty bad and I don't know how that happened because I thought I did great on that project, but I was just like so sad because I was so close, but no, he switched it so I'm really happy I met an A in that class. So yeah, um, Chicago is happening. What? That's on Wednesday. It's coming up really, really quickly, and I'm not, I'm not sure what to do, because, like, packing is a thing, and that's always been a really huge fear of mine, is going on a big trip, like, I've always wanted to, but I'm, like, really afraid of packing and going on a trip, because, like, what if I forget something? So, like, I guess that just stems from never going on big trips, so I'm just, like, have it really built up in my mind that everything can go wrong on my first big trip, so it's just like, I don't know. If you want to make me a video helping me on what to do for packing and less stressing out about the situation, that'd be great because I, like, don't know what to do. What if I forget everything? I, I don't know, like, and then planes? I really want to get a window seat, but what if I don't get a window seat? Am I gonna have to, like, push someone down? <laughs> Probably not, but you know what I mean. Um, later today, Mom and I are actually going to go get a dress for me for your graduation, because all my dresses are pretty, pretty dang casual, so I thought I would want a semi-casual, semi-formal dress. <laughs> or something, I don't know, I don't know. Um, <laughs> today, I'm going over to my friend's Emily's, Emily house with my friend Emil who are like my summer buddies. We have the plan of biking around the summer and I'm really hoping that will work out. Currently it's pouring down rain, but we're still gonna, we're still gonna bike. Actually, no, I think it's, no, it stopped. Oh, it's sunny. Oh, cool. It was just pouring down rain. That's great. I don't have to pour, well, run, bike in the pouring down rain. But, um, we're gonna go over there and we're gonna hang out and the mom will just pick me up over there and then we'll go dress shopping and then I'm gonna go back and that night we're gonna have a ritualistic burning of our school papers. Which I've never done that. I've, I've never done it, but I wanted to, so I suggested it, and everyone was on board. She has a fire pit, so that's good. We don't have to, like, light her house on fire. Um, I don't know if you remember, but I told you about Majid, and, like, how he just was doing things that was just so weird and being a nice guy. And it's really weird, because now he's just been kind of mean, <laughs> and um, he's still a really defensive person, and he owes both of us money. Like, 
we often owe each other money, but not in like in a big way. Like everyone pays for each other for their things. So it all balances out. But what he did is like Emily had to buy a concert ticket for him because he couldn't buy it at the time because his dad wasn't paying him. And like four months ago, he borrowed my ukulele and he broke it and he still hasn't paid me back. And I haven't told mom because I just don't want her to get mad. So like he still he still hasn't paid me back. So he owes us like a total of $70 and he's really rich. And so every time we bring it up, because we're both very angry at this point, he'll, like, get really defensive and be like, stop bringing it up. And he has this really scary voice when he gets mad. So it's just been this thing where we're not sure what to do about it. And we haven't, we just, like, haven't been talking to him. I've talked to him a couple times because he was in my class, but I know Emily hasn't talked to her, him in, like, months. Not months. Weeks. And, like, he texted us, and it, it was this weird thing, and we were like, well, what did we dog wrong? He's like, well, you don't put out the dog. Which doesn't make any sense out of context. Emily has, like, a very large dog who's very, very mean when you first meet her, but if you, like, take the time to, like, meet her and, and get used to her, like, that was my goal. Like, every time I went over there, I'd be really nice to her dog, Lady. But he never took that time, so, like... Lady will still be mean to him, and he's like, well, you don't put out the dog when I get here, because everyone just wants him to get used to the dog. And this was in the midst of, like, a really serious conversation of, well, you say you call us out on things, and we ignore you, but what do you, what do you, uh, 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 I don't know. I don't know why I'm telling you about this. It's just, like, stuff happening in my life. It's not too interesting. Um... He also called us the Emily and I the dynamic duo and that we throw out all of our other friends because <laughs> we threw out him so he just figures that we ditch all our friends and cycle through people so that's that's a joke now um oh I dropped it again okay Anna, this video is nearly seven minutes but I also haven't made a video so I guess it's okay that it's a long video and I'm talking really loudly so I probably could have like recorded this on my nice camera but no oh that's another thing um, should I, I want to bring my camera, should I, I don't know, like, is that a bad idea? I think it's a good idea, like, I really want to bring my camera, but I don't know. I think I should. Huh. 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 Okay, Anna, I'm gonna say goodbye, I'll see you tomorrow, and I'll see you on Wednesday. That's weird. Okay, peace out. Oh my god, wait, what time is it? My friend's gonna be here in, like, nine minutes. I had to do my hair. Ah, bye.